In this video, we will understand about Boolean algebra basics. So make sure you watch this video completely to get your basics right. Now the point number one is fundamentals. Now here you have to understand that one and zero are not binary. They are not binary numbers. Okay, so this is wrong assumption. The one and zero are logic one, which means VCC, and logic zero, which means ground. This represents one and zero here in this slide. Now the variable a can take both the values one and zero. So this was uh, one of the important point I want to make sure. Now you can see the point one is one plus a is equal to one. This means if you are adding one plus zero, the answer is one, or you are adding one plus one, the answer is still one. Because it is not binary, it is logic one and logic zero. Now the point number two is a plus a bar. Now a bar means complement of the given variable. So if a is the variable, a bar means the complement of that variable. So a plus a bar, the answer is one. You can check by yourself. One plus zero, the answer is one. Zero plus one, the answer is still one. Now the point number three, a into zero, the answer is zero. That's basic. Then you have point number four. A into a bar that is equal to zero because if a is one then its complement is zero. If a is zero then its complement is one. So one into zero or zero into one the answer is still zero. Then you have point number five. A plus a the answer is a. Now it's obvious zero plus zero answer is zero. One plus one answer is one. Now the point number six is a plus zero the answer is a. It's obvious there is. No explanation needed for point number six. Then you have point seven, which means a dot a is a. That's obvious again because if you are adding, multiplying one and one, it's one. If you are multiplying zero and zero, the answer is zero. This means a into a, the answer is a. And the point number eight, it is a into one, the answer is a. So these were the important eight points you should know. So in the previous slide we have studied about the basics, the fundamentals. There were total eight points. Now in this slide we will see some important results. Make sure you mark all these five equations, or you can say the Boolean expressions. The point one is if you have a plus a b, you can take here a common. Now the bracket contains one plus b. Now one plus anything. The answer is what? The answer is one. We have understood that in the basics. So one plus anything. The answer is one. So a into one. The answer is a. Now these two points you have understood because your basics were clear. Now the expression is very important. You have a plus a b. The answer is what? The answer is a. Now the second point. If you have a plus a bar b, the answer is equal to a plus b. Now in in general you can say that x plus x bar y. Correct. The answer is x plus y because here instead of a plus a bar b. The uh, the equation the expression can be a bar plus a b or the expression can be a bar plus a b bar. So that is the reason I have given you this general expression. Now you can say answer is what for this part the x is a bar and y is b, correct? And this term is x bar, which means a bar the whole bar. The answer is a, correct? So a bar plus a b. The answer for that is x plus y, which means a bar plus b. Similarly, you can do it for this expression: a bar plus a b bar. The x value here is a bar. The y value here is b bar. So the answer is a bar plus b bar. So now we will see the point number three: a plus b into a plus c. The answer is a plus b c. Now it's simple. You you can prove that how it's it's all about multiplication and knowing your basics right. So if you have a plus b into a plus c, you have to do multiplication. A would be multiplied. To this bracket, correct. So a into a plus a into c. Then you have b into a plus b into c. Now a into a, the answer is a. And if you take a common, or uh, okay, I will write whole expression again. And now from this part, if you take a common, one plus anything, answer is what? Answer is one. So this part is one. So a plus b c is your final answer. Now let us move forward to the fourth expression. Now this expression is because of the De Morgan's law. A plus b the whole bar. The answer is a bar into b bar. Similarly, the fifth point it's because of the De Morgan's second law. It is a dot b. This means a into b. A into b the whole bar. The answer is a bar plus b bar. In this slide, we will understand about consensus theorem. Now this expression is pretty simple. A b plus a bar c plus b c. If you have this, then this term is redundant. And the answer is a b plus a bar c. 
and i will tell you how this term became redundant and what is the proof behind this equation it's simple you have three variable in the left hand side in the left hand side you have three variable you have to go from three variable to two variable correct and how to do that it's simple it's manipulation you have to manipulate your lhs and then you can arrive at your rhs so look carefully here i have done the manipulation in this line ab plus a bar c plus bc into 1 now this term bc into 1 is still bc correct now this one can be written as a plus a bar and then you will get your answer because once you do this one as a plus a bar now you can say the term here is a b c and the term here is a bar b c now you have to club the common part a b and a b c club that then you have a bar c then a bar c b club that now here you can take a b common the bracket would be 1 plus c and in this part you can take a bar c common and the bracket would be 1 plus b so 1 plus anything the answer is 1 that is the reason you are getting the answer as a b plus a bar c now we will see important concept for gate point of view it is dual of boolean expression in this part you have to do the replacement if you see addition it is replaced to multiplication and if you see multiplication it would be replaced to addition let us understand this by an example a b plus a bar c plus b c is equal to a b plus a bar c tell the dual form of this expression actually this expression is consensus theorem now you have to find the dual of this expression how to go for the dual of this uh, expression wherever you see addition go for the multiplication that is here it is dot product okay and whenever you see this dot which means uh, multiplication go for the addition so you can see here a dot b since you there is multiplication you have to change that multiplication into addition so the answer would be a plus b then you have this plus among this two term correct so plus would be changed to multiplication again multiplication change to addition addition change to multiplication multiplication change to addition similarly do for the right hand side simple so this is the dual form this expression is the dual form of the given equation so the last part of the basics and in the further slides we will see the gate questions or based on the boolean algebra basics cool let us start property of boolean algebra the first property is commutative property now it's simple commutative property you can see you have studied in this uh, this kind of uh, property in probability as well a plus b is equal to b plus a similarly a into b is equal to b into a it won't make any difference if you change the order correct first a then b or first b then a similarly goes for the third equation a into b the whole bar is equal to b into a the whole bar whereas the order matters in matrix okay the order matters in matrix but not in this equations where a and b are treated as variable okay whenever you have variable order never matters but whenever you have matrix then order will matter okay so this was the important point now let us move forward for the next property associative property associative property is just changing of the bracket which term will you solve first if you solve a plus b the whole bracket this means you are solving this part first then the answer would be added to plus c and if you are doing a plus b plus c bracket this means this part would be solved first and then would be added to a the answer will still be same so bracket changing will also not matter okay so here you can see a dot b the whole bracket into c that is equal to a into b dot c the whole bracket now the third property is distributive property a into b plus c a would be distributed to every term so the answer is a b plus a c similarly if you have a plus b c then again a would be distributed to b a would be distributed to c so a plus b into a plus c so the fourth property is transposition property this basically means changing of the position so here you can see a b plus a bar c b is with a and c is with a bar so change their prop uh, change their position so in the right hand side you can say a is with c now and a bar is with b so the answer is a plus c into a bar plus b now let us move forward to the fifth uh, point that is literals now literals basically means number of uh, variables number of type of variables that can be present in a function so if you have a function which contains the variables a b so the type of variables that can be present in that function is a a bar 
and b b bar so total number of uh, variables is 4 if you have 3 here a b c so number of type of variables that is literals how many possible a a bar b b bar c c bar so n here is 6 so in general you can say the literals are 2 n where n is the number of variables of function simple so here the n was 2 and that is why the literal was 2 into 2 which is 4 as you can see here similarly here the n was 3 and the literal was 2 into 3 which is 6 so you can see here let's say this is capital n which means the total number of literals so i hope you got all the basics based on boolean algebra now in the next video we will see the gate questions based on the basics of boolean algebra तो फ्रेंड्स अगर आपको मेरी वीडियो पसंद आ रही हो देन डू लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय YouTube चैनल तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में टिल देन टेक केयर दिस इज श्रेणिक जैन पीस आउट